But I just want people to realize that when a crisis comes into play, especially in this country or whatever country you're in, that the tables could quickly turn on people that would call themselves preppers. They would be called hoarders. And they would go to jail, directly to jail. They would be fined. And everything that they were hoarding would be taken. Now, back in 2013, we had this whole thing begin down in Venezuela where there was a massive food shortage. Now, if you've paid attention to what's happened down there, there were lines, droves of people trying to get to grocery stores. And at that time, they were saying that there was a shortage to where there was at least 20% missing from the shelves. They then put out a press release through their attorney general that had basically designated this group of prosecutors to go nationwide with other authorities and to basically go after anyone that was hoarding food. The Venezuelan government was treating those that prepared ahead of time like domestic terrorists. Now, the situation today is way worse as there's not there's never a fix on, on on trying to fix the issue. What they're doing is they're consistently trying to find the people in this instance that have prepared, that have tried to survive, and they want to try to pick them off one by one. Because in a truly 100% pure chaos situation, it's just going to be too much madness to try to go in and pick people off one by one without having to deal with a bunch of other stuff around. It would be much, much easier to do that beforehand, to try to find these preppers and pick them off beforehand, like a purge, so to speak. Very similar to what I, I'm kind of seeing going on with this whole plot. It looks like the agents have pulled off throughout the past few years here in this country with some of these events, where they're now trying to go back and prosecute people for things they did years ago. But they just sit back and collect all this evidence on people and watch people. They could be watching what you're buying, tracking it, and, and the amounts, and they could already have you on a list. And when the day comes, there could be a calling, so to speak, where they try to go and get these specific individuals. Now, this is happening in Venezuela. You need to learn from other countries' mistakes. And for those that think that this cannot happen here in this country, let me remind you of a thing called the NDAA. As you can see here in 2012, this executive order gave the government the authority over every resource and infrastructure element in the United States. And it's all, it's all been put into motion. So what I'm wanting people to see here is that if this is happening in these other countries with these people that planned ahead and they're going after them and prosecuting them and throwing them in jail, then you can expect the same in other countries. When the supplies are running very low and they're saying that this is a crisis situation and they are claiming the power over all of everything, that's when people are going to be like, how do they have the authority to do this? And that's when everyone else is going to be like, we've been trying to tell you for years about the NDAA, all this stuff, and you just wanted to laugh it off and call it conspiracy theory. The fact is, is this is exactly what they're going to do when the times get tough and they try to clamp down. So you remember that. I'll continue to update with more information. Spin Dabu 7.